Hello, this is Chris Hearn, CEO of Fountainhead, the nation's leading non-bank SBA lender. And today we're gonna to talk about why your bank is likely not the best option for you when you seek a business loan. Did you know that only 14% of business owners claim to have a relationship with their bank? Only 14%. It's pretty staggering that it's as low as it is, but I think it just demonstrates how disloyalty has occurred over the last few decades in the banking world and probably means that your bank is not the best place to go for an SBA loan. And the reasons are, are many, but among other things, most banks are generalists by nature. They tend to try to be all things to all people. They oftentimes have 30 or 40 different products and services that they're trying to sell you on, because if they can get you doing one of the, you know, buying one of their products or services, then they hope to cross sell you into all these others. So it's a little unique, um, certainly works out well for the bank, but doesn't necessarily work out best for a business owner. We live in a specialized society, so oftentimes that means you as a business owner ought to be dealing with specialists, just like your business. You're probably a specialist in what you do. A couple things that banks are not very well known for, as I'm sure you know, is speed, service, specialization, the things we're talking about here today. So we noticed this over the last couple of years with, during PPP, where we were a very active PPP lender. We had so many applicants come to us who couldn't get their big bank or even their community bank interested in providing them with literally a life-saving PPP loan. So we noticed this disloyalty then. I think it's only accelerated since, and I think it's gonna continue in the future. I would argue that a business owner ought to work with someone who is a specialist in business lending. And that oftentimes means not working with your existing bank where you have your accounts at, for instance. So let's talk about speed for a second. Why are banks so slow? Well, part of it's because they're generalists. Part of it's just the mindset of a lot of banks. They are, tend to be very averse to risk and they take their time. And one of my credit managers here calls them credenza loans. That means they took the application and it sat on someone's credenza for maybe weeks, if not months, in order to wait for the committee to finally meet to then consider your loan. That doesn't work in an Amazon Prime economy. It just doesn't. People don't want to wait. People are impatient, rightfully so, and people are anxious when they apply for financing, and it's a, not a very good situation as maybe you've experienced. So speed is not the reason to go to your local bank. Even though they have a so-called relationship with you and you may have accounts there, that doesn't mean they're gonna move quickly for your business loan. Service is another piece that a lot of banks are falling down on. Some of this is because, again, banks have been shedding employees for many, many years, shedding branches. Banks are consolidating all the time. And frankly, sometimes bankers are more concerned about preserving their own job than actually giving you the best service possible. Again, the economy that we live in, the society we have, expects high-level service. And if you're not getting it, you should rightfully be disappointed and probably consider moving your business elsewhere. Specialization is the last piece that oftentimes banks can't compete on. And I say this because if you're looking for an SBA loan, a bank's probably not gonna be the best option because there's only so many banks that even participate in SBA lending. In fact, the last stat I saw was only about 1,500 banks in the US compared to about 11,000 financial institutions that could provide SBA financing. That's a fraction of who's possible to give you a business loan out there. Most banks just don't see the value in SBA lending, sadly. A lot of them don't even have their own department. If you're dealing with a small bank, you may be their guinea pig. You might be the first SBA applicant they've had in six months or a year. So you should always consider what level of specialization do they have in SBA lending. If they haven't made an SBA loan recently, or at least one a month, let's call it, probably you want to run to some other institution to consider applying for an SBA loan. The last thing I'll talk about is technology. A lot of banks have legacy systems that just frankly don't operate very quickly for today's business owner in terms of the turnaround time. So what we again learned during PPP is we deployed a lot of technology, had a lot of digitized the process, automated the process in many ways, and it allowed us to actually deliver much better service much faster. So this is another reason why you may wanna consider working with someone who is a fast SBA lender, who's a specialist SBA lender, and who provides a great level of service that can actually help you as quick as possible. So I hope today's been helpful to kind of understand the distinctions of why your existing bank may not be the best option for you to get a business loan. And if we can help you, please subscribe here, 
click below or go to our website, which is www.fountheadcc.com. All right, hope to see you again sometime.